Welcome to the Writer's Life, the place where you get the sights, sounds, smells, tastes of my particular Writer's Life, and where you get the truth. As you can see, it's, uh, oh wait, of course, uh, don't forget to smash that uh, like button and the subscribe button and uh, hit that bell for notifications so that you don't miss even one moment of these very exciting videos. Okay, so now, now it, now, as you can see, um, it's kind of a rainy, chilly day here in, uh, in Florence. Um, I'm heading to the supermercato. I should be going to the central market, Mercato Centrale, they call it. Um, there's some really fresh stuff. Um, they even sell like pigs' snouts there and stuff, <laughs> and all sorts of weird stuff, tripe. Um, but I'm always working, so like I always they close up at like two or something, so I always miss it. Anyway, it's been a weird week because um, I gotta get out of the road. It's been a weird week because I've been going back and forth with a couple of author friends of mine. Um, two in particular, both of whom are very are, are very um, accomplished authors. One 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 dude actually has like two major motion pictures out. Um, and just how um, how really rotten the publishing business is, <laughs> and uh, um, I already spoke about this in a video a couple of days ago. How the one guy in particular, you know, like you know, you're only as good as your last book, and his publisher didn't take any more from him or whatever. Like, I mean, how successful do you have to be, you know, in order to have job security? Well, the point is. In the publishing business, no matter how successful you are, you never have job security, ever. Um, I have one publisher I sold hundreds of thousands of books for. Moved them anyway. Um, you know, the final book I did for them didn't do as well because it was what they call orphaned. That means uh, the editor left before the book came out. And when that happens, a book always tanks. So therefore, they're like, oh, well, you suck. <laughs> yeah. Thriller Award winner, Seamus Award winner, New York Times, USA best-selling author. Yeah, I suck. Anyway, and uh, we we also have been talking about how like like when I won the Thriller Award, like one guy in particular, you know who you are, was really pissed that he didn't win it. You know, like oh, Fitz got the toy and I didn't. Yeah, well, too bad. Um, suck it up, Buttercup. Anyway, uh, we've been discussing a lot of this stuff this week, and uh, it's actually, uh, you know, you, you just, when you look at all the stuff you've accomplished and you sit back and you're still here, you're still a survival, survivor and doing okay, and you, and you think about all the writers, editors, publishers, agents who have come and gone, and the 20 years since you've been, since you've published your first book and you just, you just can't help but smile. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say today. So, uh, ciao, ciao, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.